The place of supply is in Chennai and Maharashtra and Chennai, what happens? Two different streets, then IGST will come. Whatever sales happen, even though I am in Maharashtra, the sale is considered as you have sold to Chennai. If you have consumed any food item means it will be considered as Mumbai only. So place of supply what? Mumbai. A warm welcome to one and all, this is your Arasa here. Lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session two of your topic called indirect taxation and we are discussing place of supply. Now, place of supply of goods and in this, it is a small topic and you will not get any problems on this, but the example problems, what I am doing, those kind of small, small problems you may expect. Now, so once we're done with your all topic, we'll go with the question paper discussion so that you will understand better what pattern will be your question paper and what will be your marks allocation. Your agenda is very simple. We'll go with the concept and we'll go with meaning. So we'll go with small, small examples and with answers. Now, example number four, we're done with example number three in the previous session and we are continuing with example number four. The receiver takes the goods X factory, Mr. Raj of Mumbai, Maharashtra gets an order of 100 TV sets from Sales Heaven Limited. Again, I'll repeat, A receiver takes the goods X factory, Mr. Raj of Mumbai, Maharashtra gets an order of 100 TV sets from Sales Heaven Limited of Chennai. Now, so in this Tamil Nadu, so of Chennai, Tamil Nadu, Sales Heaven mentioned that it will arrange its own transportation and take TV sets. So who is buying now? Sales Heaven Limited is buying this. Now, TV sets from Mr. Raj, X Factory Place of Supply, Chennai. Tamil Nadu, GST, IGST, although the goods are received, X Factory, that is in Maharashtra, by the recipient, the moment of the goods terminates from the delivery to the recipient only at Chennai. Why? Because Tamil Nadu, irrespective of whether the supplier or recipient is actually undertaking, the moment of goods, the place of supply is the location of goods where the moment of goods terminated for delivery of the recipient, which is at Chennai. Hence, IGS is applicable. See, from Maharashtra to Chennai and recipient, he is willing to collect in the Chennai itself. So with his own transportation cost, irrespective of the transportation cost paid by the person, it may be recipient paid or it may be the sender who paid the cost of the transportation. That is immaterial in this and the place of supply is in Chennai and Maharashtra and Chennai, what happens? Two different states, then IGST will come. See, he is in Maharashtra, the seller and the buyer, both are in Maharashtra. Just assume that I want to purchase some mobile or something, I am in Maharashtra. I am the buyer, I am in Maharashtra. Some seller is there, he is willing to sell me in the Maharashtra itself. But I said that I'll take goods to Chennai. I don't want delivery here, I want delivery where? In Chennai. Now, buyer takes goods to where? Chennai. So what is the supply of goods now? Maharashtra to Chennai because I am not from Maharashtra, I am from Chennai. Just to check or inspect goods, I came to Maharashtra. So whatever sales happen, even though I am in Maharashtra, the sale is considered as you have sold to Chennai. Hope you are clear. Yes, good. So this we call it as your place of supply. Now, we'll go for the next one. Example number five. E-commerce sale, Mr. Raj of, what is e-commerce? Like your Amazon, Flipkart, Mahindra, all this comes under e-commerce. Now, 
Mr. Raj Mumbai Maharashtra orders a mobile from Amazon to be delivered to his mother in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh as a gift. Major CBC online seller registered in Gujarat. The online seller registered where? Gujarat. Process the order and sends the mobile accordingly. And Mr. Raj is built by Amazon. Similar to example number 3, it will be assumed that the buyer in Mumbai has received the goods and IGST will charge us. Even though it is a online, the where, is, where the buyer is from, where the delivery he told, where the delivery, Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. So, it will be called as one street to another street. We consider IGST for this. So, place of supply is Mumbai and Maharashtra, there is nothing but IGST. Hope you are clear. Good, easiest one. So we'll go with import and export. What about the situation in case of import and export? Now, the place of supply of goods imported into India will be the location of the importer. Exported from India shall be the location of outside India. If it crosses Indian border, we call it as export. And from other place to India, it collects means we call it as import. Now, example number one, import Miss Malini imports school bags from China for her shop registered in Mumbai. Place of supply Mumbai, GST is IGST example. So hope you understood. So what will be the tax? It will be IGST. And it is what? Import means always zero rated. Now, export Anita Kolkata, export Indian perfumes to UK, Kolkata, it is exempted. Export always exempted. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, supply is, supply is goods imported in India, export from India. Location of the importer, location in India, outside India. And export are exempted, always IGST on import. IGST on import with 0% tax. Hope you are clear. Yes. So we'll go with goods supplied on vessel or conveyance, the transportation line. You will not bring that. You will send through vessels. Now, goods are supplied on board or conveyance, including a vessel or a craft, a train or motor vehicle. Location at which such goods are taken on board. Like, I am in Mumbai, you are in Bangalore. From Mumbai through goods train, I will send all my goods. What happens now? So, where the goods will reach? Bangalore. So, Bangalore will be what? Place of supply. Hope you are clear. Now, I will go with two examples. You will understand better. Plain Mr. Ajay is traveling from Mumbai to Delhi by air, he purchases coffee and snacks while on the plane. The airlines is registered in both Mumbai and Delhi. Place of supply, Mumbai, GST, CGST, SGST. The food items were located into the plane at Mumbai. So place of supply becomes Mumbai because from Mumbai you have started your journey to Delhi. Whatever the food item they bought, they prepared, where it is prepared in the Mumbai. So, if you have consumed any food item means it will be considered as Mumbai only. So, place of supply what? Mumbai. Now, plain, second one, business travels, Mr. Ajay is traveling from Mumbai to Chennai by air on behalf of his company, Ram Gopal and Sons, registered in Bangalore. In the plane, he purchases lunch. The airlines is registered in Mumbai and Chennai. Place of supply, Mumbai, because CGST, same thing it is. The food item were loaded into plane at Mumbai. So place of supply becomes Mumbai. It does not matter whether buyer is registered. Even though buyer is registered from Chennai, but where he consumed, what food he consumed, where, which bought from Mumbai. Hope you are clear. Yes, it is the easiest one. From where you take, there is a place of supply. Where it will reach, there is a place of supply in case of goods. Please take screenshot. Yeah. So we'll start from here. Example. 
This is our example with picture. Your example, second one. Next example. Next one. If supplied with vessel or conveyance. Your examples. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. With this, we end with your topic called place of supply. So we're done with your topic and we'll discuss the question paper, pattern and everything in the coming sessions. Thank you.